Hi everyone. Before we do today's story, I want to do a little game with you. And as you can see on the table here, I've got some very powerful things. What I want you to do when I go through them here is to tell me or the people beside you what you think the most powerful thing is. So first of all, we've got, I thought it was a drill, but according to Clive, it's an impact drum. An impact gun. Takes bolts out, apparently. These are the sound effects. Okay. Then we've got chilli. I don't know if you've ever eaten food with chilli in it, but it's very hot. We've got some money, which is the most powerful. We've got some medicine. can be very powerful when you're unwell. We've got some glue. PVA glue can be very powerful when you want to stick something. And we've got a light. So what I want you to do is just shout out what you think the most powerful thing on the table is so far. Okay. Well, in today's story, we're going to do something similar. I'm going to tell you a story. And what I want you to do is to pick out the thing um, or the person who you think is the most powerful. So this story comes from Acts chapter 13. And at the beginning of the story, we hear about Paul and Barnabas. Now, Paul, we've already heard about Paul lately. In the last couple of weeks, Paul became a Christian. God spoke to him in a very dramatic way when he shone a bright light and, and made him blind. And he then stopped hating Christians and followed Jesus himself. And then we've got Barnabas. Barnabas we heard about last week from Rosie. Barnabas was the encourager. Well, Paul and Barnabas in the story in Acts, um, they were sent on a very special job. They were asked to go and tell other people about Jesus. And they were asked to tell everyone the word of God. So, the Holy Spirit told the church at Antioch to send Paul and Barnabas. So they travelled around the world telling people the word of God. Well, they came to a place called Cyprus. and It's an island. And when they were there, they met, they met a man called Bar Jesus. Now, Bar Jesus was not a very nice man. He hated God. And he told people lies about God. He worked for the ruler of Cyprus and he was called Sergius Paulus. Now Sergius Paulus was a very clever man. And whenever Paul and Barnabas came to Cyprus, he wanted to hear the word of God. But Bar Jesus tried to do everything to stop the ruler hearing the word of God. So Paul said to Bar Jesus, you are speaking lies from the devil. You will be blind. And that's exactly what happened. Bar Jesus became blind. So I'm just going to put him down. And when the ruler of Cyprus heard the word of God and saw what had happened, he believed the word of God and he became a Christian and he wanted to follow Jesus. Now, in our story so far, what or who do you think is the most powerful thing? Is it Bar Jesus? Definitely not. Is it the ruler of the land, the one with the crown? It wasn't him either. Was it Paul or Barnabas who told the word of God? It wasn't them either. In fact, the most powerful thing in the story today was the word of God. Now, I want you to take a closer look at the table and see. Can you see anything else that's powerful on the table? Well, hopefully... You can see the Bible and the Bible 
Well, it is the most powerful thing on the table because the Bible is the word of God. And when people hear the word of God and believe it, they are saved, their sins are forgiven, and their lives are changed forever. And whenever we read the Bible and we believe it, then our sins are forgiven and um, our lives can be changed forever. So it's very, very important that we read the Bible and we hear what Jesus has to say to us. And whenever we do read the Bible, it's also important that we tell other people about what the Bible says so that their lives can be saved too and that their sins can be forgiven as well and their lives can be changed. We need to read the Bible so that we understand what all that Jesus did for us and we need to find out the truths so that if some people say to us things that aren't true, we're able to tell them what is true and what the Bible says. So the most important thing to hear from today's story is that the word of God, the Bible, is the most powerful thing that we have. We're going to have a little prayer now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have given us the Bible, your word. Help us to love your word. Help us to share your word. Help us to read your word. And may you change our lives when we do that. Amen. You're all ready now to um, try the activities um, in section six. Okay, bye.